Hello everybody, welcome to a little video explaining a couple of things. First, I've just purchased a, a headset for use with my PC, but I'm going to use it on my Mac as well just because I can and it's going to just, just a little test run, see how it sounds and uh, see how it works, I guess. <laughs> just, just see its performance. And uh, the second, I've been reading a couple of comments from previous Minecraft videos and it seems some people kind I kind of didn't understand the adaptive nature of what I, I was supposed to have made I mean fair enough it was a linear composition that I put in there so it wasn't how how you heard it it wasn't you know intended to be played that way but uh, I'm just gonna quickly run through how it should be played but I haven't actually put it in so hopefully this will give you an idea of uh, the process and of course you can see that my background image is in fact me with Dream Theater so um, anyway let's get cracking first I'm going to load up uh, FMOD which is an audio API this is an audio engine for um, video games so uh, this is used in Crisis um, it's also used on Blitz Game Studios um, it integrates with their tech tools and things like that but this is this is just uh, one I've done earlier which is actually part of my final project as well but I'm just gonna create a new uh, event I'm just gonna call this uh, under music yeah why not okay then so right now I've got these layers right here I'm just gonna add a parameter now uh, this is not a timeline it could be a timeline, but it's not. It's going to be a tension line. So let me just uh, set the parameter properties. Now I want minimum value of uh, one and a maximum. I'm not quite sure how many I need yet. So uh, let's just put it at seven for now and have a rule of, sp oops, rule of spacing of one. And that takes one. Okay, this might be a long video, it might not, depends on how long it takes me to do this. So next I'm just going to create a few more layers, uh, no, just one more even. So I'm going to have this layer as tensions, <laughs> tensios, and this layer as, uh, I think I had uh, something else, yes, uh, hats. no, yes yes hats and then I'll have another one as uh, Tom's because I have a little something in there so now I just need to go into my sound definitions and add sound definitions from wavetables so now I'm just gonna browse to where my sounds are there uh, bounces so I need flawless loop. I also need hats tension one, transition tension two, tension three, tension four, and toms. These are all the sections of the um, what what's it called? By the way, the 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 final track, the music that you've heard. These are all the separate mastered. Um, audio files, sections, whatever you want to call them. Anyways, let's just add a sound into this one and I shall get flawless loop and that one shall be yes. Okay, I'm just gonna add another one here actually because that's gonna go constantly throughout. So let's just, can I move you up? No, I cannot. Whoops. Oh well, I'll just put you as amb and I'll add you there. So I'll have you going throughout the entire thing and now I'm going to start with my next tensions. So uh, my first tension is just the hi-hats. So tension hats echo tension one. I shall be looping. Have that here and just extend it in the first parameter. Uh, come on, I'll or I'll, I'll can't get my words. I'll alter that later. And now this is where it gets interesting. I'll add the toms in. Uh, they are there. So currently, this plays everything. Actually, I needed. I wanted to move these over a bit. 
because tension one is just the ambience. So currently, tension one. Oh, damn it! Uh, that's not coming out of my headset. Hmm. It should be coming out of my headset. For some reason, it's coming out of my uh, Mac. This is odd. I shall be right back. Okay, um, F mod was being weird. It uh, actually, in preferences, it wasn't set to output um, in my headset. So you can see that's the headset I have. So if you want to look it up, um, that's what I've got. Anyways, uh, for now, this is what we have so far, which is in F mod. It's just an ambient loop and it's a flawless loop so once it starts, you know, of course you're going to hear when it starts, but from there on you have no idea when it actually loops around, you know, it's going to, it's pretty difficult to find the loop point. So I'm just going to add a volume automation effect in there because that's a little too high. And it's supposed to be ambience, so we'll put that around about there. And of course, uh, just as it goes on, I want to... Uh, take it down a bit because I just don't want to take it completely out though so round about there let's just have it save that okay then so here it's just ambience and now let's just move on so we've got the hi-hats there uh, unless we can turn the toms off if we want let's just listen to the hi-hats whoops <laughs> I press spacebar yep so you can hear that whoops again <laughs> uh, my bad uh, I'm not used to the uh, shortcuts yet anyways let's listen to the toms as well Hmm, they should be off. I think I bounced the toms down with the hi-hats. If I did, that's a bit of a mistake. So let's just take a look there. Logic. Uh, where's final project? There. Du -du 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 -du. So let's look at toms. Yep, so that's a mistake. So I'm just going to load up Logic and correct that, and I'll see you in a second. Okay then, so I've replaced the toms in this uh, folder here, so hopefully it has replaced it in this folder here. Well, in this project, sorry. Which it has, so that's good. So anyways, uh, at the moment uh, we have all this going on at once, but we don't want the toms to trigger every single time it goes around because this is just a loop, you see. Um, that, you know, it's not playing from there to there, it's just within this part it plays that file, uh, loops it round and round and round and round and round. And that's okay for the hi hats, but for the toms we don't want that. So I'm just going to browse into sound definitions and go into my toms tension and I'm going to add a don't play entry. So you can see here, play percentage is 50% and, um, don't play percentage is another fifty percent. So it's gonna go either way, you know, it can play, it can't play. So I'm just gonna add one more don't play entry. So now uh it's gonna play a third of the time. So let's just see how that sounds. Okay, this is strange. Doesn't usually do this. Okay, let's just take a look, see. Okay, so I spent a couple of minutes trying to figure it out, and uh, I'm not 
100% familiar with this program yet. I've been learning it for a while, but I'm still not 100% of it, so I don't know what's wrong. If you are if you know of this program and are used to it, then let me know, because that should be right. But anyways, uh, let's carry on, and then let, then the rest of the tensions are going to go in here, but I'm not sure why I just put made a separate layer for hi-hats so I'm going to delete that layer and yes I want to delete that layer and I'm going to put the rest in this one so let's have tension one transition and that shall be a one shot there we go and we shall have that here so there's the transition between tension 1 and tension 2, but uh, that's n qu not quite where I want it. So let's just move it to uh, 3 and have it last 1. It shall be immediate. It shall start. Uh, wait for previous. So basically, it wants to wait for the previous sound file to end before triggering, which is uh, what we want. So I'll give you an example. Let's just press play. And now let's move on. It's waiting for. The... See, see, it waited for that to finish before moving on to this one. So uh, that's exactly what we wanted, which is great. Although this one needs to be trimmed a bit. There we go. Okay, then let's just add the rest now. Uh, Attention two. Okay then, and that should be all of them. Let's just add a volume parameter for these. This is the kind of thing that I usually do on my other channel, but considering I posted it on a, a gameplay. Okay, so here we go. Let's just see how it works. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, I know it probably cut off quite suddenly, um, I didn't expect this to happen, it, something went a bit wrong. But anyways, uh, I found out it doesn't quite function backwards as well as I would have hoped, so I, I'm going to alter it later on. This is just a basic to show you how things work. Um, but going forward it works perfectly fine, so I'll show you how it works going forward. And we'll start by digging underground. Uh, we're going to get a little bit of ambience because we're going into a cave. So you've got, you know, some noises, it's not really anything interesting, some scary stuff, rawr. You're just digging down, you know, in some area, and uh, then a little bit of, hmm, I'm digging deep. Why am I digging deep, you know, it's dark, it's scary, hmm, maybe you shouldn't be down here. Oh my, I, I think, I think there's something over there, like, what's that? What's that over there? Run away! Ah, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but anyway, you can you can see how it's working. This is kind of like semi battling, running away theme. You know, when an enemy has come within a certain distance, uh, this will trigger it, and then in you know subsequent mode or whatever, it will trigger the next one and the next one um, because of different events. So different events will trigger where this would be on the time on the parameter line even. So let's just wait for the uh, this this one to finish and it should go into this one perfectly. There we go. And this is kind of I like to think this is the kind of like the lonely digger, you know, you're just hacking away at some rocks. And uh, the next one's just a expansion of that. So let's just wait for that to finish. Okay, so you see what I mean, that one didn't loop as well as I would have hoped, so I'll sort that out later and replace the file. But um, you can see what I mean and what I was trying to accomplish uh, when I uh, made this. 
and how you know it it's supposed to be adaptive so it's not going to constantly be this epic over here it's going to be mostly uh, down here you know just going back and forth between these having some drums in now and again and when you get close to an enemy um, you transitions and goes forwards uh, and whatnot so I hope you've learned something and I hope you found this interesting I know it's not my usual video and this is what I usually put on my other channel which has been a while since I've updated because I've been super busy but anyways um, I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope the sound quality has been okay because like I said new headset headset <laughs> sorry uh, new headset so I shall see you again soon take care guys